Welcome, everybody. This has been a long time coming. This is the uh, beginning of what is going to be a fantastic project for this community. Uh, when I first got on council, uh, Ms. Condon and, and some others under the leadership of Mr. Mitch Kessler and, and the crowd over at Solid Waste uh, decided to take this county into the what we call the single stream recycling program, which if you remember way back when, we used to have to separate everything in little bins. And to, in order to get participation up in the program, they went to what we call single stream. And to do that, we knew we, we, knew we needed a new facility. So a grand search began on where to go and through uh, the leadership of the Solid Waste Committee and, and mostly uh, the hard work of Chairwoman Condon, it was established that we would come here to Palmetto Commerce Parkway where we could be, have a regional system for Berkeley, Charleston, and Dorchester in the future. Um, the more we recycle, the better off we are for our landfills. It, it increases the life of our landfills, which is good for the taxpayers of Charleston County, but it also is fantastic for the environment. The first step in that process is to um, dedicate our new, or break ground on our new road. And in order to do that, I'm going to thank some folks that are here. First, we need to recognize uh, Mr. Dawson, who uh, was part of this process all along, Mitch Kessler, uh, all the solid waste folks, and, um, and Robert Lauren, who has been really a leader in, get, in getting this done. We also have Davidson Floyd Engineering's here, Brett Rodenbach. Um, Brent, I thought I saw Brent Evans earlier from Banks Construction Company, who's going to be doing the uh, project. But we also need to thank the Collins family, who without them, uh, none of this would be possible. They, they were very patient landowners, as Mr. Dawson will smile and tell us, in, in handling this transaction. Um, the Collins family has owned this land for decades. Um, it was purchased by the patriarch of the family, Mr. Robert O. Collins, and over the years have been passed down generation by generation. who have been good stewards of this real estate, um, and that's why we're here today. Uh, I want to take an opportunity to tell you all a little bit about the person this road's going to be named for. Ms. Rebecca Collins graduated from Davis, Jefferson Davis Academy in 1977. She's a 1981 uh, graduate of Newberry College, um, where my sweetheart went to school. She had the fortunate privilege, we'll just leave it at that, of marrying Mr. Clay Collins in 1982 and is the mother of four wonderful children who I uh, get the honor of calling my adopted brothers and sisters. But Miss Collins is a whole lot more than just a mother and a wife. She's a dedicated mother and wife and daughter She's a family person, but she's also one of the most savviest business people I've ever known. Miss Collins has this wonderful way of not only being graceful, but being strong at the same time. She has been involved in a male-driven business for a very long time. She's the president, or was the president, of Robert O. Collins Coastal Division and Coastal Asphalt Paving and during the 1990s where most of this operation uh, as you sit here today was. After they sold the company in the, in the 90s, they moved back to Blackville and started Home Place Cattle Company, again, another male-driven industry. They are a family-owned and operated ranch raising pre premium beef cattle and has one of the, the best uh, farming operations in South Carolina. Just a year ago, Ms. Collins was honored by Governor Nikki Haley and appointed to the South Carolina Mining Council. I have known the Collins family since I was a very young boy, and I will tell you, through her leadership, they have always been here for our North Charleston community. Anytime that my father or the city has needed anything, um, she was right there, along with the rest of the family, to uh, support community, whether it was baseball teams, baseball fields at Westcott, um, anything and everything the city's always ever needed, the Collins family's been right there, and that has a large part to do with Miss Becky Collins and, and her heart and soul and what she has done for our community and, and how smart and savvy of a businesswoman she is. And at this time, I'd like to ask her to come forward, and we want to show her something. So today, when you and I break ground on this road, you want to help me, Bobby? 
We are going to unveil the new Rebecca Collins truck. <laughs> to think that I know what everything, every move my family is making during the course of a day. And I am completely blown away. Uh, I am honored beyond words can, can speak. Um, we raised our, Clay and I raised our children right out here on this land and, and we worked together and we found a wonderful home in Charleston County and a wonderful home in North Charleston. And I wouldn't trade those years for, for anything. And so I thank you for this wonderful honor, and I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Thanks so much for being out here with us today. In 2008, County Council adopted the Green for Green plan. We determined that burning your trash wasn't the best way to go for you financially or environmentally. Since then, our team has worked together for years. We've had a terrific consultant and Kessler Consulting Incorporated, as well as a terrific staff team and Mr. Joe Dawson, who doesn't like to take uh, credit for his great work with us over the years with council and staff to figure out the best plan forward financially and environmentally for Charleston County. That leads us to lots of work over the last seven years and to bring us to this point today. We are building our new MRF which stands for Materials Recycling Facility. So our new recycling facility will go here on Palmer Commerce Parkway at the corner of Rebecca Collins Drive. It'll be built behind us. We've got a rendering behind me here. This will allow us to, to not just offer the recycling that's become so popular mentioned by Chairman Summy to our homes, but start allowing greater recycling efforts with our businesses here in Charleston County, with apartments, and providing those similar services to other counties who would like to join with us and use our facility. We look forward to partnerships with the commercial sector and other counties so we can provide the best recycling opportunity in the southeast. Our facility at Romney Street has been the little engine that could. We've pushed it farther than it was ever meant to go. I, I often tell folks it's kind of like driving a 74 Pinto. You could still drive it theoretically from here to the county office building, but you don't know if you're going to get there today. You know you could get there, it just might take a few stops along the way. Well, we don't want to be driving a 74 Pinto. We want to have the best proven technology in the country that we know will allow us to process recyclables in a responsible and responsive way for our citizens. And we're going to be able to do so here in Palmetto Commerce Parkway. With it, we are going to be breaking ground on the road behind us. Currently, we have a road over here that right is in the middle of where the building is going to be. And instead, Rebe Rebecca Collins Drive is going to be along the far right edge here. We'll then see the berth behind us, and it's going to be a large building, 60,000 square feet, expanding out over to where the road area is now over here. So all of this area will be the new MRF. It'll have great technology that's been proven with adaptability for us to be able to build in new technology as it makes sense to Charleston County Council. Truck scales are going to be up here. Fuel skit islands, we'll see what kind of fuel will be the right options for the future, but our fleet will be right out here. It'll be easier for us to serve the Tri-County area better. And we certainly want to be able to be up here in the middle of the great industry that's happening in Charleston County to help challenge us to bring forward the best recycling technology that we can do for Charleston County that is also financially responsible. So thank you so much. I know we've got a lot of work ahead of us. This is just the starting process for to be out here today. There's been a lot of groundwork done. There's more to be done, but the road will be built. We'll get started on it. We've got uh, the equipment being chosen uh, in short order. We'll be choosing a construction team to be working out here doing a design build. And we'll be looking for, for the best partnerships to make this the best facility we can for Charleston County. So thanks for your help so far. We look forward to your help going forward. And we'll now head over to the back to do the groundbreaking. One, two, three.
The ground is broken. Let construction begin. Banks, where you at? Let's go.